Lee Remick was a trailblazing actress who left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Born in 1935, she began her career on stage before transitioning to film in the late 1950s. Remick quickly gained recognition for her exceptional talent, earning two Academy Award nominations in the 1960s for her roles in Days of Wine and Roses in The Detective. Throughout her career, Remick demonstrated her versatility by taking on a wide range of roles, from dramatic leading ladies to comedic characters. She starred in over 30 films and numerous television shows, working with some of the most renowned directors and actors of her time. Remick was not only a talented actress, but also a passionate advocate for social issues. She used her platform to speak out against discrimination and promote awareness of important causes, leaving a lasting impact on both the entertainment industry and the world at large. Despite passing away in 1991, Remick's legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers today. Her unforgettable performances and dedication to her craft have solidified her place as a true icon of Hollywood's golden age. Actress Lee Remick had a successful career spanning several decades, with notable roles in films like A Face in the Crowd, Anatomy of a Murder, and The Days of Wine and Roses. She also starred in the television miniseries The Blue and The Gray and Jenny Lady Randolph Churchill. We'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite work of Lee Remix? And do you have any cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic star? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Throughout her career, Remick tackled a variety of roles and genres, leaving a lasting impact on the film and television industry. There are many fascinating stories about her life and career, so keep watching this video to learn more. Lee Remick was born in Quincy, Massachusetts, and grew up in a family that valued the arts. Her father, a department store owner, and her mother, a singer and actress, encouraged her to explore the world of drama from a young age. Remick began her acting career in television and later transitioned to film, where she quickly gained recognition for her talent. One of Remick's earliest influences was her mother, who introduced her to the world of theater and performing arts. Remick's mother was a singer and actress, and she often took her daughter to see Broadway shows and other live performances. These experiences sparked Remick's interest in acting and inspired her to pursue a career in the field. In addition to her mother, Remick was also influenced by several mentors and peers throughout her career. One of her most significant mentors was the renowned acting coach Stella Adler, who helped Remick refine her craft and develop her unique style. Adler's teachings emphasized the importance of emotional honesty and connection in acting, and Remick credited her with helping her become a more authentic and compelling performer. Remick also worked with several notable directors and actors throughout her career, including Alia Kazan, Sidney Lumet, and Marlon Brando. These collaborations allowed Remick to learn from some of the best minds in the industry and further develop her skills as an actress. Despite her success, Remick remained humble and dedicated to her craft throughout her career. She continued to take on challenging roles and push herself as an artist, leaving behind a legacy as a talented and versatile actress who made a significant impact on the world of film and television. Lee Remick was an American actress who made a significant impact on the film industry during her career, which spanned from the 1950s to the 1990s. She began her career on Broadway before transitioning to film, where she quickly gained recognition for her talent. Remick's contribution to Hollywood is notable for her versatile and nuanced performances in a range of genres, from drama to comedy. She starred in classics such as A Face in the Crowd, Anatomy of a Murder, and The Days of Wine and Roses, for which she received an Academy Award nomination. Remick's influence on the film industry extended beyond her acting abilities. She was a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, advocating for equal pay and opportunities for women in the industry. She was also known for her philanthropy, supporting various charitable causes throughout her career. Remix legacy continues to be felt in Hollywood today. Her body of work serves as a testament to her talent and dedication to the craft of acting. Her influence on the industry as a trailblazer for women and an advocate for equality continues to resonate, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers. In conclusion, Lee Remix's contributions to the film industry during her era and beyond are significant. 
Her talent, versatility, and influence have left a lasting impact on Hollywood, and her legacy continues to inspire and shape the industry today. Lee Remick's passion for acting was ignited during her childhood. As a young girl, she was captivated by the art of storytelling and the emotional depth that actors could convey through their performances. This fascination led her to pursue acting in high school plays and eventually study drama in college. A pivotal experience that fueled Remick's desire to become a professional actress was her appearance in a summer stock production of The Curious Savage while she was still in college. Her performance received critical acclaim, and she realized that she had a natural talent and a deep love for the craft. After this experience, Rimick decided to move to New York City to pursue a career in acting. She faced many challenges along the way, but her passion for the art form and her determination to succeed kept her going. She quickly gained recognition for her work on stage and screen, and her career continued to flourish throughout her life. Throughout her career, Rumik was known for her versatility and her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters. She was a true artist who was dedicated to her craft and her passion for acting shone through in every performance. Lee Remick put in significant effort to accurately portray her character Betty Lou Fleckham in the film A Face in the Crowd. She lived with a local twirling teenager and her family for two weeks to study baton twirling and perfect the character's accent. Some of the twirling scenes in the film were performed by a double. In Wild River, Remick co-starred alongside Montgomery Clift, who was struggling with alcoholism at the time. Director Ilya Kazan made him promise not to drink during filming, and with the help of supportive co-stars like Remick and Joe Van Fleet, he was able to keep his word. Cliff's career was in decline due to his alcoholism when he was cast in Wild River. Despite this, he was able to stay sober during filming with the support of his co-stars and the director. Lee Remick, a talented actress, faced several challenges in her early career. Despite coming from a well-off family, she chose to pursue acting, which was not well received by her family. She had to work hard to prove herself and earn their support. Financial struggles were also a significant obstacle for Remick. She had to take on various jobs to support herself while pursuing her acting career. However, she never let these difficulties deter her from her dream. In addition to financial struggles, Remick faced skepticism from the industry. At the time, it was rare for actresses to break away from traditional roles, but Remick was determined to do just that. She took on challenging and unconventional roles, often playing characters who were strong and independent. Remick's resilience and determination helped her overcome these obstacles. She found creative solutions to her challenges, such as taking on a variety of jobs to support herself and seeking out unconventional roles to showcase her talent. Remick's story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of staying true to oneself. Despite facing significant obstacles, she never gave up on her dream and ultimately became a successful and respected actress. Lee Remick portrayed various characters throughout her career, showcasing her acting range. In preparation for her role in Days of Wine and Roses, she and co-star Jack Lemmon attended Alcoholics Anonymous meetings. Lemon also visited the Lincoln Heights Jail to observe inmates, which influenced the film's portrayal of alcoholism. Remix on screen chemistry with Ben Gazzara was evident in Anatomy of a Murderer's Husband and Wife. They played alongside other notable actors, including Patricia Neal, Burl Ives, Walter Matthau, and Lee Remick herself. In A Face in the Crowd, Remick acted alongside four Oscar nominees and three winners, demonstrating her ability to hold her own among industry greats. Her character, Betty Lou Fleckham, was central to the film's exploration of the corrupting influence of power and fame. Lee Remick's career had several breakthrough moments that highlighted her acting prowess and versatility. In 1957, she made her film debut in A Face in the Crowd, directed by Aaliyah Kazan, which was a groundbreaking project. Kazan's innovative filmmaking style and Remick's fresh talent were recognized, with critics praising her performance. Remick's role in the 1962 film Days of Wine and Roses was another turning point. Her portrayal of an alcoholic, alongside Jack Lemmon, gained significant critical acclaim. 
The film is still remembered for its honest and poignant depiction of addiction, and Remix performance was instrumental in its success. In 1966, Remix starred in The Detective, where her performance was described as compelling and powerful by critics. This role further solidified her status as a leading actress in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Lee Remick was known for her ability to portray complex and nuanced characters. Her collaborators often spoke of her dedication and professionalism, with her performances leaving a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. Despite her untimely death in 1991, her work continues to be celebrated and studied, a testament to her enduring influence in the world of acting. Lee Remick enjoyed working with Jack Lemmon in the 1962 film Days of Wine and Roses. She held him as her favorite co-star. That same year, Remick, who was with 20th Century Fox, stepped in briefly to replace the consistently late Marilyn Monroe in Something's Gotta Give. However, she didn't get past a few wardrobe fittings as Dean Martin, the film's co-star, insisted on working only with Monroe, leading to Marilyn's reinstatement. Unfortunately, the project was ultimately abandoned. In 1969, Remick starred in Hard Contract, a film she found to be a disaster, despite enjoying the European locations. Despite the film's failure, she met and fell in love with Kip Gowans, the first assistant director whom she later married. Lee Remick was an American actress known for her work in film, television, and theater. She had a unique approach to acting, often immersing herself in her roles to deliver authentic, and compelling performances. Remick's artistic process involved understanding her character's motivations, background, and emotions, which she then translated onto the screen with subtlety and nuance. Remick's style was characterized by her naturalness and simplicity. She avoided over-the-top expressions and gestures, instead preferring to let her character's emotions simmer just below the surface. This approach made her performances relatable and engaging, as audiences could easily connect with her character's struggles and triumphs. Remick's personal experiences and worldview were often reflected in her work. She was known for choosing roles that challenged societal norms and stereotypes, particularly in relation to women's rights and gender equality. Remick's own experiences as a working mother in Hollywood also informed her portrayal of complex and multidimensional female characters. One of Remick's most notable roles was in the film Days of Wine and Roses, where she played an alcoholic struggling to maintain her sobriety. Remick's own experiences with addiction, as well as her empathy and understanding of the issue, allowed her to deliver a powerful and moving performance. Overall, Lee Remick's artistic vision and process were marked by her commitment to authenticity, naturalness, and complexity. Her unique style and approach to acting have left a lasting impact on the industry and continue to inspire actors today. Lee Remick received the Women's International Center Living Legacy Award in 1990, recognizing her significant contributions to the arts. Sadly, she passed away just four days before her Jenny Lady Randolph Churchill co-star, Thorley Walters, in 1991. One of Remick's most memorable roles was as Kirsten Arneson Clay in Days of Wine and Roses, where she portrayed a woman struggling with alcoholism. Interestingly, both she and her co-star, Jack Lemmon, sought help from Alcoholics Anonymous long after filming concluded. This demonstrates the impact of her work and the authenticity she brought to her performances. Lee Remick was a significant actress known for her versatile roles in films like Days of Wine and Roses and Anatomy of a Murder. She began her career on stage and later transitioned to film where she quickly made her mark. According to film critic Leonard Malton, Lee Remick was a rare talent who brought intelligence, grace, and depth to every role she played. Her ability to portray complex and nuanced characters contributed to the evolving representation of women in Hollywood. In Days of Wine, in Roses, Remick's portrayal of an alcoholic was groundbreaking and helped to challenge the stigma around addiction. Her performance was praised for its honesty and rawness and it remains a powerful example of her impact on the industry. Director Sidney Lumet, who worked with Remick on the group, said, Lee had a unique ability to convey vulnerability and strength simultaneously, making her a truly captivating actress. Remick's influence can also be seen in the acting styles of many contemporary actresses. 
Julian Moore has cited Remick as an inspiration, saying, Lee Remick was a master of her craft. Her ability to embody complex characters with such depth and nuance was truly inspiring. In addition to her work in film, Remick was also a prominent figure on television, earning Emmy nominations for her roles in Jenny Lady Randolph Churchill and The Women's Room. Overall, Lee Remick's contribution to the industry was significant and enduring. Her ability to bring depth and nuance to her roles helped to challenge stereotypes and pave the way for more complex representations of women in Hollywood. Her influence can still be seen in the acting styles of many contemporary actresses, making her a true testament to the power of great acting. Lee Remick's performance as Carol Garth Baldwin in Wild River is considered one of her favorites. This movie showcases her early talent and marked an important milestone in her career. Remick's film debut was in A Face in the Crowd, where she played Betty Lou Fleckham. In The Omen, Remick took on the role of Catherine Thorne, who meets a tragic end. The film is known for a stunt where Kathy, Remick's character, gets knocked off a balcony. This scene brought to light a similar incident in The Exorcist, where actress Ellen Burstyn was injured during a stunt. Unlike The Exorcist director, William Friedkin, The Omen's director, Richard Donner, took a different approach. Donna restaged the stunt so that Remick being pushed off the balcony was an optical illusion, ensuring no one was hurt during filming. This decision reflected Donner's care for his actor's well-being and his commitment to creating a safe working environment. Lee Remick, the talented actress, was known for her work in films like Days of Wine and Roses and The Omen. However, her life wasn't solely focused on her career. She was a mother of four, and enjoyed spending time with her family. Remick was also an accomplished equestrian and found solace in riding horses. Remick was passionate about various causes with a particular interest in fighting cancer. After battling the disease herself, she became a dedicated advocate for cancer research and education. She even founded the Lee Remick Foundation for Cancer Research and education to raise funds and awareness for the cause. Remick's personal values, such as compassion and resilience, were reflected in her work. She often chose roles that highlighted complex human emotions and relationships. Her dedication to her family, her love for horses, and her commitment to fighting cancer all contributed to her unique perspective as an artist. In addition to her acting and philanthropic efforts, Remick was known for her elegance and grace both on and off screen. She was a respected figure in Hollywood and will always be remembered for her contributions to the film industry and her advocacy for cancer research. Lee Remick, known for her roles in various films, had a notable experience while working on the long, hot summer. She admitted to being intimidated by co-star Orson Welles due to his iconic status. In Wild River, Remick faced a personal challenge when her husband was severely injured in a car accident. She left the set immediately and received support from co-star Montgomery Clift, who had also experienced a severe accident years prior. Unfortunately, this incident caused her to lose the opportunity to appear in the Broadway play A Good Soup with Ruth Gordon, a role that was later filled by Diane Salento. The play closed after 21 performances. Lee Remick was a highly respected actress, known for her versatile performances in both film and theater. Her legacy includes many memorable roles that showcased her talent and range. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, Remick once offered the advice to always be true to yourself and never stop learning. She believed that the industry was constantly evolving and it was important for actors to stay informed and adapt to changes. Remick also emphasized the importance of hard work and dedication. She once said, talent is not enough. You need to put in the time and effort to hone your craft. She encouraged aspiring actors to take classes, work on their skills, and seek out opportunities to perform in any way they could. In terms of her own future contributions, Remick always looked forward to taking on new and challenging roles. She was known for her willingness to take risks and push herself as an actress, and she continued to do so throughout her career. Remix advice for aspiring professionals is still relevant today. Her emphasis on hard work, continuous learning, and staying true to oneself remains an important guide for anyone looking to make their mark in the industry. By following her example and taking her advice to heart, aspiring actors can honor her legacy 
and pave their own path to success. In the film The Long Hot Summer, Lee Remick portrayed Eula Varner with Anthony Francesa. They had previously worked together in A Face in the Crowd in 1957. Remick's career continued with her chilling performance as Catherine Thorne in The Omen. In one scene, where baboons attacked the car, Remick's terror was genuine. The original plan to make the baboons react involved using a baby baboon, but it didn't work. They resorted to using the baboon's head, causing the baboons outside to become aggressive. In Days of Wine and Roses, Remick played Kirsten Arneson Clay, who had a preference for watching cartoons on TV. These roles demonstrate the range of Remick's acting abilities and her impact on the film industry. Lee Remick was a dedicated and innovative actress who left a powerful impact on the entertainment industry. She began her career in the 1950s and quickly made a name for herself with her captivating performances. Remick was known for her ability to take on a wide range of roles, showcasing her versatility and talent. Throughout her career, she worked with some of the most renowned directors and actors of her time, and her performances were always highly anticipated. Remick's passion for her craft was evident in every role she played, and she pushed the boundaries of what was expected of actors in the industry. Remick's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today, and her legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors. Her body of work is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance, and serves as a reminder that with hard work and dedication, anyone can achieve their dreams. In the end, it was Remix's unwavering passion and commitment to her craft that made her a true icon in the entertainment industry. Her enduring impact is a reminder of the power of creativity and the importance of following one's dreams, no matter the obstacles that may stand in the way. Lee Remick demonstrated her dedication to her craft in her film debut as Betty Lou Fleckham in A Face in the Crowd. She arrived on set three weeks early to train with the local high school's majorettes, showcasing her commitment to authenticity. Remick's portrayal of Kirsten Arneson Clay in Days of Wine and Roses alongside Jack Lemmon was equally impressive. The two would later reunite in tribute as a divorced married couple. In Wild River, Remix starred as Carol Garth Baldwin alongside Oscar winner Joe Van Fleet and three Oscar nominees Montgomery Clift, Lee Remick, and Bruce Dern. The film's talented cast showcased Remick's ability to hold her own among industry greats. Throughout her career, Remick proved herself to be a dedicated and skilled actress, delivering compelling performances in every role she took on. Lee Remick, the accomplished actress, had a well-known fondness for chocolate. Her love for this treat was perhaps as famous as her acting career. Remick's family history included entrepreneurship with her grandfather, Alfred Remick, establishing Remick's department store in Quincy, Massachusetts. One of Remick's most memorable roles was in the film Days of Wine and Roses, where she played Kirsten Arnes in play. Director Blake Edwards claimed to have hypnotized Remick to assist her in performing the sloppy drunk motel scene. This anecdote showcases Remick's commitment to her craft and her ability to fully embody her characters. Lee Remick portrayed Laura Mannion in Anatomy of a Murder, where Jane Stewart's character finds a hotel clerk reading Exodus. The following year, the film adaptation of this novel, Exodus, was directed by Otto Preminger who also directed Remick in QB7. In A Face in the Crowd, Remick played Betty Lou Fleckham at the age of 21, her character being 17. Born on December 14, 1935, she was 21 years and 169 days old at the film's release on June 1, 1957. Remick collaborated with Blake Edwards on two black and white films set in San Francisco in 1962. In Experiment in Terror, she played Kelly Sherwood, and in Days of Wine and Roses, she earned her only Oscar nomination for Best Actress. Lee Remick's heritage was a mix of Irish and English ancestry. Her paternal grandfather was the son of Irish immigrants, while her maternal grandmother was born in England, and many of her other ancestors had immigrated to Massachusetts in the 1600s. Remick's acting career included notable roles in films such as Anatomy of a Murder and Wild River. The role of Laura Mannion in Anatomy of a Murder was initially turned down by Jane Mansfield, but Remick's portrayal of the character became iconic. 
In Wild River, Remick played the role of Carol Garth Baldwin and selected two local children from Charleston to play her children in the film. She chose the little girl because the girl reminded her of herself at the age of seven, and she chose the little boy because he enjoyed hugging and kissing her. Remick's talent and dedication to her craft left a lasting impact on the film industry, and her performances continue to be cherished by audiences today. Lee Remick played the role of Kate Palmer in the film, No Way to Treat a Lady, which also featured two Oscar winners, Ron Steiger and Eileen Heckart, as well as three Oscar nominees, Lee Remick, George Siegel, and Michael Dunn. Remick's performance in the Broadway play Wait Until Dark earned her a Tony Award nomination for Best Actress in a Dramatic Role in 1966. In April 1991, despite being in the advanced stages of kidney cancer, and undergoing chemotherapy, Rumick made a public appearance to receive her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Her face was noticeably swollen due to the effects of the treatment. Jack Lemmon, her co-star from Days of Wine and Roses, was present to offer support. Rumick passed away just two months later, on July 2nd, in 1989. While filming in France, actress Lee Rumick received devastating news she had tumors on her kidneys and lungs. Despite achieving remission in 1990, the cancer returned once more. Remix's career was marked by bold choices and strong performances. For the film Anatomy of a Murder, director Otto Preminger initially approached her for a smaller role, but Remix confidently declined. When the original lead, Lana Turner, turned down the part of Laura Mannion, Preminger offered it to Remick, who initially thought it was a prank. Beyond her acting career, Remick's influence extended to the music world through her son, Matt Colleran. Colleran was a founding member of the Los Angeles-based rock band, Mary's Danish, and co-wrote the band's biggest hit, Don't Crash the Car Tonight. Despite the challenges she faced, Remick's legacy as a talented and daring actress lives on through her work and the success of her son. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the remarkable career of actress Lee Remick. She was known for her versatile performances in a variety of genres, from drama to comedy. With a career spanning several decades, Remick left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Remick's work continues to resonate with audiences today, and we encourage you to share your favorite performances or memories of her in the comments below. Did you enjoy her captivating role in the film Days of Wine and Roses, or perhaps her intriguing performance in Anatomy of a Murder? If you found this content informative and enjoyable, please consider liking and sharing it with your friend and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more celebrations of the creative spirits who have shaped the entertainment industry. Together, let's celebrate the enduring legacy of Lee Remick and the impact she had on the world of entertainment.